Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, please like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. That good. Yeah, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Just loading up our game here. We uh, started our beet harvest yesterday and now we just have to finish picking it all up. Get all set up here. I don't think I forgot anything for once. How do you like the new webcam layout? I'm a hexagon. It's the best of gone. Good mood today. Good mood today. I just finished watching uh, Big A streaming his his live stream there. Pretty good farming sim, good dude. Big space A. Big A. He, he dropped into our chat every now and then. Very similar style of streaming as we do here. <sighs> My eye is really swollen again. It gets much better in the evening. In the mornings, I like barely see a little bit. Next 
bucket. I, I put the big extra backing to this bucket so that we can carry more. Jess had this brilliant idea of we should get conveyor belt to the field and dump it all into the trailer. It's extremely expensive and we're ready in a lot of that. So if anybody else wants to join the practice set, they're waiting for you. After this we need to sell some eggs I believe and then sell all our grain through winter. Nineteen fifty-two. Nineteen fifty-three. Start nineteen fifty-three. Hopefully we get enough money to buy a couple of forklifts. Turning radius is not great on this floor. It's not a very tight turning radius. She'll do. With the big uh, V8 on the front, she's got more weight on the front. Carry a little more weight on the back. A huge thank you to everybody that's been donating to uh, our uh, uh, fundraiser for Children's Miracle Network Extra Life. Big billboard there. I know it's behind my camera. Um, so far, people have donated are Kiram Gaming. Some Rhino 2, Iron Thunder, Tori the Fluff and Bunny, Coyote Dreams, Linda at 2, and Sinfully Sinister. Anyone that 
that donates, no matter what amount, your name will show up on this farm in the new years. Unless he asks us not to, if we don't want to show him. And there's a lot of people who want to stay anonymous. And unlike a lot of people that fundraise, this, this fundraiser goes straight to the charity. I never see the money. Hey Logan. Hey uh, Kirk, Kirkland. Kirkland. Look. Thanks for dropping by. Doing a pretty boring job here today, just picking up beats. Um, hopefully, hopefully get this job done and then get through winter, sell all our stuff, and then get into spring and another seeding season. I think next year I'm gonna plant uh, potatoes here instead of beets because beets are big. Thanks for the subscription, Kirkland. DLC to 19 other than the fact you have to buy a completely new game. So I do like that they took longer to come up with a new game this time instead of every two years. It's like, you don't need a new game every year when, when uh, the new version is so similar to the old version. It makes significant difference. Significant changes before you release a new game. Instead do DLCs. I'm not a fan of that. Hey Magnus, how's it going? And yes, my eye is very swollen. Especially in the morning, when first wake up, it's the time is over here. 940, 948, not bad early. Only 8 degrees Celsius outside. Chillier morning. Um, 
question for you guys. How's the music level compared to game level volume? Is, is the music too loud? I, I, I redid the whole music thing. Negative, I live in Canada, in British Columbia, so directly north of California. family that lived in California, currently the music is slightly loud. Okay, I was wondering because I had to redo the whole way OBS and VLC work, so I I will adjust VLC music volume here, down a bit, I'll see if that's too quiet, whoa, 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 what are you doing, drop, drop your bucket, okay. Yeah, so we're on the west coast, you're on the east coast. Is that too quiet now? Or did the song get there? Let's give it. I think a new song has started. The east coast is too busy, man. So for, for a job, I, I'm a long haul trucker, so Anytime I get close to the East Coast, man, it's too busy, guys. The East Coast is too busy. I have a friend that trucks on the East Coast. Just runs up and up and down from PEI Canada to Florida, and the story he tells me about trucking the East Coast is is a little crazy. I can barely hear. Quiet song now. Uh, request a song negative because of copyright issues. I only play. So I used to do all these different copyright free sites and play their music. The problem with it is in two years from now, those songs have been copyrighted, and then all of a sudden I get all these copyright strikes from two years ago. So now all I play is YouTube music. It has to be in the YouTube library. And uh, attribute attribute free. Although now that I'm putting the title up on at least the horizontal version, um, I can probably do more songs. But I, I I I've been bitten by music so much. Um, unless unless you're writing your own music as a copyright claim, um, I'm going with just the YouTube library, which really limits the type of music you can play. But it's better than none. Ooh, she's heavy. It's better than no music. So I did think I do think I turned it down too low. Unless this song is just too quiet. Let's make it at 30 decibels and see. Can't remember what I had at it, where I had it before. Okay, let's uh, get this pile cleaned up. We also need to um, lime and fertilize that grass field before the day is up. So if you want me to switch jobs, let me know, and I'll uh, get out the slurry tank, do a little bit of fertilization on that field, and then whatever the slurry tank does. The slurry tank probably. Like get a little bit of, I've never done that before, so we'll, we'll fertilize and then lime that field if you want me to switch jobs. We can do that. We do these. No kids. Just myself and my wife. My wife comes with me long haul trucking. Long haul trucking really isn't for people that have kids. Like you said, your dad when your dad was trucking, you probably rarely saw, right? So um, that's that's why I usually only live stream Saturday and Sunday mornings because the rest of the time I'm gone. And sometimes I'm gone two weeks at a time, so sometimes you only see me streaming two weekends in a in a month. Most of the time I'm home on weekends, but. More and more, I will be 
gone two weeks at a time with the way the market's going. And that's my main YouTube account, the trucking channel, not this. This is, uh, we used to do the gaming on the trucking channel, but we made our own channel here. That's why this channel is not monetized with the trucking channel. Oh, your dad was a trucker before you were born. Oh, okay, so he stopped trucking. That's a good idea. That, that, that's a good dad. I've been trucking for a little over six years, yeah, six and a half years. given on the YouTube channel name. So, if you guys want me to call you different names than Kirkland or Logan, then uh, change your YouTube handle name. Having said that, my, my main YouTube channel name is my name. So, I'm Quan. I know, big white dude with a Spanish name. Uh, this channel does have three different hosts. I am the owner of the channel, but we kind of just were equals as far as live streaming and stuff. Um, so, hence the three J's. You've got me, Juan, my wife, Jess, and my brother, James. So, you've got three people streaming on this channel. So, if all of a sudden you hear a different voice than mine, don't be surprised. Yeah, right before I started streaming, I was watching Big A playing Farming Sim. There, there's, there's his icon, Big A. Well, not his, the one I made for him, AI art. For the people that join in here regularly, I make AI art for. So I was watching Big A farming. Did some interesting work on his farm. You guys all good with me doing more beats or you want me to switch jobs?
this farm is far from done. We do have cheap uh, chickens, ducks, and cows. So over there we still have some sheds that need to be cleaned up, old sheds that need to be cleaned up, we'll build some bigger, newer, some newer sheds. Um, this way we've got some old pens that need to be cleaned up. We're going to put our horse pen in here somewhere, probably where the green bales are, the grass bales. And we've got a bunch of baby lambs now, they're eating lots of food. Lots of baby lambs. The adults are starting to produce some good wool. Yeah, stuck on the fence. And then we got our free range chickens and ducks over here. Quite a bit of eggs, and then don't have any uh, baby calves yet. We've got two adult female cows and one bull. So I'm not producing any milk yet. Here we do have. have calves in there soon, I think. Cows reproduce a lot slower than the sheep and the chicken. And like I said, we need to get to horses, and then after that, probably get to pigs too. We just finished cutting this grass. It took like three episodes of live streaming to finish all this grass. It's insane. Uh, carrying beets. Um, this is my favorite tractor for it because the big V8 motor on the front is a lot heavier, so it means it can carry more beets than the other tractors can. Although the front tires get pretty light, really pushing the limits of what it can carry. And I want to fill this bucket all the way. basically using the through the years mod and only using the tractor and equipment that was available in 1952. I'm sure there was more equipment available in 1952 but nobody's made the mods for that yet. Hey, 
this boy. How's it going? Selling beets, or not selling beets, just bringing, bringing beets for storage right now. Like I said earlier, if anyone wants to request a job change, there are, there's one other job I could be doing then, other than collecting beets. If you guys get bored of this. Old Ford can do so much work, but collecting beats does get kind of song that when we lowered it was just a loud song. Can you even hear the music? No to what? No, no, you know the music is not too quiet, or no, you can't hear the music. I just turned it up. It's too quiet. Yeah, so we'll have to try to find the balance. I re completely redid how the music works in here. Now it shows the title at the top, right underneath that charity bar, how much we fundraised. Chose the title of the song that's playing. So. Making that, making a title show up on the screen is amazing how much work it takes to figure that all out. Once I figured it out, it's simple. I, I could do it on a different computer in 10 minutes. Figuring it out the first time, out. wondering because our horizontal screen is very quiet today in the morning, but it, usually a bunch of viewers come in at 10 a.m. Pacific time zone. So I'm just wondering where, where you're all at on Sunday morning. Keeps on on the vertical. You guys are keeping chat going, all right. On the vertical, the horizontal. Where are you guys all at? It says two viewers here. Not three viewers. 
usually the viewers don't start coming in until 10, 10, 30, so the next half hour on, on the horizontal screen. So basically I've got two streams going at once. Both on YouTube, one vertical for those of you watching on your phone, the other one horizontal for people watching on computer and TV. People rely on the little bell notification when I go live. The dang bell is so unreliable. Like the YouTube channels I follow, I've got the bell set up and I get notified like never. I wish YouTube did a better job of that. When I set up a notification, I mean to be actually notified. None of this, eh, if you feel like it. Which you can actually set up like an email notification. You really get notified. Then. Stitches were moved tomorrow, so it's not too far. Stitch isn't coming out too early, so it should be okay. Basically, I was tarping a load. I was standing between the big rig and the trailer, tarping a load of drywall. And I tripped on the hoses between the truck and trailer and skydived straight into the concrete floor. Exposed like a two inch gash, a quarter inch wide of my skull. Never seen my skull before. Of course, you know, smashed my rib cage. That really, really hurt. Uh, my whole nose, black eye. Um, both of my knees are just black. Literally, the way I tripped, it was like flat out body skydive into the floor. It's only three feet off the ground, but that's a lot of damage. So, yeah, that was fun. I did that on Wednesday. So I had to go to the ER there, and then the doctor says, no work for the next six days. Yeah, I'm in Vancouver. I have to drive home. I, I, live, I live in the Okanagan Valley, so that's about a five-hour drive. 
And I've got this load on the back that just needs to be finished tarping. I have to drive back anyway, I might as well bring the load back. And I'm delivering in the Okanagan, just a little bit down the road. Like, I might as well deliver that too. This one's kind of taking six days off. On Thursday, I went and delivered the load then took Friday off and I'll probably take Monday off because Monday evening I'm supposed to have the stitches taken out. No point of going on the road until all the stitches are out. So I'll have like literally lost two days of work, that's it. The doctor said six. I think technically I'm supposed to stitches are supposed to come on Tuesday, but it's definitely it's Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> Yeah, never seen my skull before. Yeah, the first aid att attendant there definitely had some EMR training. Very good first aid attendant at that company, and then uh, the doctors were good at the hospital too. I used to be a firefighter at a uh, EMT, so... As soon as I got to the mirror to look in the first aid room, how bad it was. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to the ER. Anytime, anytime bone is visible, I think ER is mandatory. Then anytime I lay down, because my eye isn't elevated, it really swells, it swells up, so in the mornings I can barely see out of my eye. So if I do go back to work, I'll probably just tell the boss I need a couple hours in the morning before the swelling on the ground, the eye to go down before I hit the road. still looks so big, but it is getting smaller, right? Right? I think, it, I think it's like half the size when we started. Come on. Load me up. Not gonna get 100% in here? All that good. On, on my trucking channel, and people haven't seen this yet because those those videos are always two week two weeks delayed. So nobody there is talking about it yet. And however, Friday's video is the most viral video I've ever done. I think I was like at nine thousand views. And most of my videos get like a thousand views. Probably at ten thousand views now. Here's my phone. Just take a look. I haven't even looked at it yet. Let's see how many how many views has that video got? Nine point seven. Not quite to ten yet, so it's slowing down now. First two days of it, um, 9.7 thousand views. Man, that's awesome. I'm excited about that. What does that mean for money? It's made a whole $13.70. I'm rich! I'm rich! 
need to get a lot more than that to get rich, huh? Hey, 13 bucks is 13 bucks. Stuck on there. Honestly, well, we should make good progress on the pile. Hey Coyote, how's it going? Coyote dreams in the house. Just right now, it's just the eye. Every morning, this eye is so swollen, I can barely look out of it. It's starting to clear a little now that I've been sitting up right for a while. But the morning, the first couple of hours, really quite hard to see out of it. So that may hamper my attempts to go back to work. At least, maybe just run limited hours. You know, take a couple hours off in the morning before driving. The vertical before driving. Of course, I've already thought of how I'm going to do that in the future. In the future, if I'm tarping between the truck and trailer, I'm going to keep my safety harness on and keep it hooked into the ceiling. 
so that if I do fall, I'm not skydiving into a concrete floor. like a bruise or a concussion, right? Well, I mean, my eye is kind of bruised. I've got black all the way around my eye. Uh, my nose is black. I think it's not black, more reddish or purplish. But my eye itself, no, no blurred vision, pupils are good. So there's, the eyeball itself is not still in the No double vision. So. A lot of good news. It could all be much, much worse. Almost done, guys. Pile is almost done. How many more trips? Should have made bets on how many trips it would take. If whoever gets closest wins a prize. Right, there's nine loads left in that. We hit the other tractor.
this view in the first person. left in there. side and the avatars have moved over to the other side too. Um, it gave me the ability to put, make the webcam a little bigger. The webcam on vertical got a little bigger too. Michael, you're bored again. Michael's calling this stream very boring. Kind of rude, I would say. Michael, why are you so rude? Seven loads left in there. Hey, maybe I was okay. Maybe I was fairly accurate. You're being mean because I'm mean to you. I haven't done anything mean to you yet. Yet yeah, was the key word. Nope. Logan has swapped streams. horizontal. Sixty-two Celsius, not a frickin' chance in the world. There's no way it's sixty-two Celsius. Not a chance. Coyote's calling you in on it too. That was my weather alert sound when Michael comes in and gives us a weather report. Sure, 62 Fahrenheit. There we go. So what? What was it in Celsius? What's what 62 Fahrenheit in Celsius? Here it's nine degrees Celsius. A little bit breezy. Clear blue skies. Sixteen degrees Celsius. That be almost perfect weather for a motorcycle other than the wind. The high wind would keep me off of the motorcycle.
gets hot, but not that hot. Well, it's more like you put a Celsius in there. It's like, dude, that, that's a little on the warm side. Behave on me here. Is it all messed up now? Kind of is, isn't it? Is that better? Okay. Good morning. You've been what? You've been awake, but I'm on your phone. I didn't want to clean up the beads, that's exactly it, yeah. We're not going to watch on this farm to do that, to clean up the beads. Well, we have to fertilize the line. Okay, five loads left in that? No. I think Logan's going to be close to the loads. How many loads is left in this? Well, too late to guess now. So swollen up in the morning, right? Set your radio, Michael. Isn't there a hidden button somewhere where you can push a pin into to reset it? I'm sure, there's not like a little pinhole somewhere. Google your mo radio model name and reset. See, there's probably instructions how to reset any kind of quality product. How's it going? The Holy Crows are in, in the chat. Yes, I can move over to our chat. Show me, show me the, the, the live stream.
we, we've had our vertical chat was pretty busy today. Yeah. I was talking to Big A about it. It's like, Big A, you gotta start doing vertical. Maybe move the three J's logo. So you're saying move that there. Okay, vertical is moved. Okay, is that better? Okay, hang on guys. I, I will I will change the background for the vertical right now. What? Having vanilla ice cream and coffee. I need to organize this. Okay, we gotta open this up. We should probably pause the game. Okay, changing it for Jess. background and running a okay fine oh it's so slow ran out of honey so you have ice cream in your coffee save uh, export as a png export save yes it should change up there automatically it did close Happy now? Is that better? Yeah. It's okay. Cool. There we go. We've changed the layout of vertical. Webcam has moved to the other side as well. My webcam's a hexagon now because hexagons are the best of guns. If you guys have not watched CJP, see? CGP Gray? You guys need to watch that YouTube channel because it's the best YouTube channel out there. CGP Gray. Doesn't make a lot of videos, but he does. There. Hexagons are the best of guns. Hexagon made it a little blurry on the edge and then put a white line around it and then I put a blue shadow around it. It's not a blue glow, it's a blue shadow. And it hasn't affected my gameplay at all by following the directions he gave me on the video to Jared Kiram, changing how it does the shadows. Um, it works pretty good and makes it look sharper. yesterday I was muted and then when I wanted to cough I heard unmuted to cough and said yeah I think I got those backwards so yeah I think um, we're right around the seven and a half eight load so Logan's initial guess was off, but your second guess when you actually saw the pile. 
that's fairly darn accurate. Clean everything up, and we'll start fertilizing this field. Yeah, that's a good plug-in. And then the other one I spent hours on, hours, <laughs> hours, um, right underneath the fundraiser line of the, the, the red line up there. Now we have a title of the song that's playing and how many minutes left on the song. So the song title, the uh, artist of the song, and then how many minutes left. Getting that to work took way, way too long. I mean, it'd be simple to do now. I, I, I could easily walk through it and blow through it and figure it out. No problem. Get it set up the first. Lots of. I'm doing exactly what everybody says on YouTube in 1918 18 or 2018, I guess. Not 1918, oh boy. 2018 videos tell me to do this. It's a long time ago. Jared, thanks for the subscription. Yeah, Kieran, like six, seven subs already today. If I remember correctly, it's exactly ten. Ten. If I remember correctly, if I remember what we had. I was talking to Big A. I'm like, you gotta do this. It's just a must. It's a no-brainer. What I really need is watch time, though, right? Yes, definitely, 100%. Yeah, careful. Vertical is definitely the king. So you didn't get Caster Lab set up? I tried. It said I have no streams, so... Okay. Oh, oh, so we got this message here. This top one? I don't know, maybe. So then what you do is you have to close it, and then you have to reopen it, and then it says this, connected, Okay. and then it'll work. So... <sighs> Cast. Um, I'm worried, I'm, I'm really, really pushing my graphics card. Yeah.
it's all showing up in here. I don't know why you have a double bar, but... Because it says two. Oh, so you, I get what you did there. So you can monitor different things that way. Although it's not showing me anything on here. I think you have to select. I did viewers list. Okay, so it says there's chat here, and if I say hi in here, okay, it showed up over there, it did not show up on vertical, so if I say hi, it shows up on horizontal, not vertical, and then how do I get the link? Uh, widgets and alerts. Widgets and alerts. You have to tell me what to do here. I have no oh, idea. Oh, oh, click. Uh, no. Yes. Yes. Um. <laughs> sure. <laughs> English, please. Click, click, click on that. The, the new chat, yeah. New chat. And then the corner over there. One over. Copy there link. You go. So I copy that into my OBS. Yep. Let's see if this works. Okay, there's stuff there. It's not super clear. How do I make the... Maybe make the font a little bigger? Well, I see text color, it's a different color. Should take font or chat from both now. Is that readable? I don't know where Michael's name went. Because I probably picked a blue name for Michael's name. Oh. Uh, I don't know how to change color of names. I went with a green name, so I don't. Oh, because I have I have masking or. or I have filter on that. Oh, right. So, yeah. Michael, you're invisible. Let's just edit that filter. Good job, Michael. I take chroma key off. What, what, what if we want people to be ninjas? It'd be awesome. Okay, chroma key is off. We um, could have does it. Does that work? Let's say something in the other chat. Could we have, like, anonymous chatting if we made everybody's name green? I should be able to just pull that up there. Except it went all messed up. What the heck is that? It does not want to sit up there. It does some weird stuff. It doesn't like that monitor. Um, yeah, that's really weird. Move it now, it's, it's gone. Uh, oh, oh, no, no, don't open. Don't, uh oh. Okay, you know what? That's probably good enough. You're like, I'm done for now. Uh, I like the double S you used there, Logan. Hi, Logan. Oh no, now it's gone. Now, now the chat's all the way gone. Maybe it minimized itself. No, nope, it's, it's closed. It's okay. There, there's there's definitely bugs here to figure out. Hey, hey, I gotta fix this. And I don't want to spend a long time doing it, I just gotta get it fixed. Yeah, I'm so Karen had the same problem with the resizing it. I'm just gonna put it back the way we had it. Oh, we're gonna have to put the filter back on because <laughs> that's a lot of a lot of green. Throw my key back on. Close. Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay, at least we got the chat back. Okay. So, 
could you, in theory, just make two chat boxes? Like, duplicate that, make that half the size and say vertical chat and horizontal chat. Yeah, you could put them both on, but then the chat would be moving by too quick, in my opinion. I'm happy with this. I'm good with this. Leave me alone. Oh, I'm going to love this. Let's see how hungry one gets, everybody. Hungry already. Nope. You told me I'll leave you alone. I'm finding it too glitchy. I don't like, I don't like stuff that's glitchy. Well, I'm glitchy. Oh, you're definitely glitchy. Make sure you uh, speak clearly there. <laughs> Being the doghouse, guys. Bread and water for lunch. <laughs> Got some cookies left. Let's say eat those first. Oh, he's always hungry, Michael. I don't have to make him hungry. He's always hungry. This is true. Sometimes even angry. I don't think you really get angry. Angry all the time. I like true angry. Yeah, sugar beet harvest. It's almost done. No, it's not almost done. It is done. Sugar beet harvest is done. So very, very done. I knew this was coming. Why wouldn't I move the forward right away? Drink some maple syrup. I think we actually have maple syrup in this house right now. Glass fun, huh? Why do you have maple syrup? You just don't ever open the fridge to look. Oh, there is a big glass for me then. Okay, which track do you guys want me to take for fertilizing? Got the Ford. Got uh, International Harvester, McCormick Farmall, or uh, the Model A John Deere. National Harvester or John Deere. All three are capable of doing the job. I think. Michael says International Harvester. Logan says John Deere. Okay. What in the place is going on here? Okay. So do I just choose? We're going to leave the Ford alone. Well, sorry Michael, go with the John Deere. And Logan, you win. Welcome back, Kirkland. Alright, let's, let's do a little bit of um, 
slurry that we have around that honey wagon. Never, the well, honey wagon's brand new, so it's the first job that honey wagon will ever do. Let's see how much. I suspect it's going to be very little of the field. We'll, we'll do that first before getting to our fertilized spreader. some manure. I've never done this on this farm. If I remember correctly, manure stuff doesn't always do it to max level. Max level. It can also well. over farm.
thanks. Thanks for reminding me that I disappeared. Or else I'm just talking to myself instead of talking to Kiram about Chilliwack smells. So, how much slurry do we have in here? Uh, slurry is 34. And we can put wait, 34 and the 2300. So, there's lots in here. What is that? Take the actual numbers. Uh, three, four, four, one, four divided by two thousand three hundred is fifteen more loads. We got lots. We got lots. Save us quite a bit of money on fertilizer. Michael, I appreciate you saving me for leaving my webcam off. Logan! I don't know. Logan called out my name, so I have to call out Logan's name, right? Is that how that works? Uh, when does the stream end? We never have an exact time. Usually when Milo Girl shows up, so... I would have to guess... Um, it is now 11 o'clock, usually around noonish. So, usually in about half an hour from now is when the stream ends. And then, give or take, sometimes it lasts longer, sometimes it cut, cuts off shorter. Um, what time does the NASCAR race come on? I think it's a boring race, though. It's, it's the street route. The road Hello. course is kind of oh. boring for me. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, 3.30 Eastern, so that's 12.30. So that's not going to be cut off. What? My turn? Sure. So I would say Sunday streams usually don't go very long, because we're usually we're leaving for work. Usually we're leaving for work, but thanks to my injury... Yeah, Sunday streams usually end up end around 11.30 most of the time, but today is a little bit different. Justin is at South Carolina. I don't know my East Coast name. I've never been to South Carolina. I've been to North Carolina. Yeah, so out of the three J's, <laughs> I guess none of us were born Canadian. Although, me and my brother were both born Canadians abroad. So we were, we were born as Canadians, but not born in Canada. So, I'm a Belizean. Jess is an American, and James is a Mexican. What can we 
possibly go to Rome. So there's only 11 U.S. states I have not visited. Oh, really? You can go 10 if you count one in an airport. And you've gone to all Canadian provinces, just not all territories. But one territory. Only one territory? We've been to Yukon. Yeah. Northwest? Yeah, we went to Northwest. No. No? No, so we're closed. Northwest territories? Yes. We didn't go through there at all? No. Okay. And you haven't gone, gone to Nunavut, so there's two. You see, there's only one you haven't gone to. No, I have the James down three J's again. Oh. What is this? James, have you looked at our subscriber numbers? For those of you new here, James is the other host of the, the stream when he decides to show up. Usually he decides that swords are more important than gaming. Funny how real life is more important. Yes, that's what we're talking about. Both at the same time. So I have two chats up on the screen. We, we just tried fixing it to be one chat, but I didn't like it. So, Jess has even made it easy. Do not use the one called horizontal. It sucks. You should delete that one, Jess. Swords are real life. Although, if you got paid for this... Yes, you're on horizontal. If you're watching on phone, vertical does make more sense. I find switching from horizontal to vertical, sometimes it doesn't load the vertical right. It's almost like it's still in horizontal. If you actually get the real vertical experience, it's like, oh, okay, this makes sense. But if you go to YouTube, schedule a stream, um, and go through all the steps and at the last at the last screen you can choose um, the uh, streaming code you can click on there for so basically just do the default one for your horizontal screen and if you on the second setup you have to click the vertical one. you're missing a step what he has to have OBS set up oh, yeah plugin. I'm, I'm not talking about Jess is a little, little spicy there. Well, you're skipping one step that would piece it all together. Yes. We were talking about you can do two streams at once, and that's the thing I'm talking about. Dang them. Jess, you need some food. I think you need food. And, don't, and in that setting, don't use the horizontal version because it's, it's buggered up. Maybe Jess will delete that. You can just do. You can just use the default one and the vertical one. There's a drop-down menu. And then OBS, you just install the vertical uh, plugin and go to the settings, and you have two different screen keys. The vertical and the horizontal have two separate screen keys. It's it's, it's uh, quite a bit to get it all f I need to take a chill pill. Michael? I'm gonna ban you. Ban hammer, coming down. Internet fight! So, it takes a little bit to get set up. Once it's set up, it's like normal. Like, it takes a, a couple of seconds extra every, every time you stream. And, uh you know, five times the amount of people watching and subscribing. Uh, 
and I've done some fancy stuff on the side that is unnecessary. You can literally just have a black background where the chat is and then put the vertical. Um, Kiram has done his vertical. His screen is still full size. On my vertical, I've decided to make the screen square. Personal preference, I guess. And then Kiram started cheering about how you can make the webcam cool looking and they spent hours yesterday doing that. Well, actually that wasn't even the biggest thing. When I went down, the, I want the song title to appear on the screen. Simple little white letters on the screen. That took hours to set up. Oh, well, Michael, I think most people refer to their stomach as the whole digestive system. When you have a stomach ache, you probably don't have a stomach ache. You've got a digestive system ache. I guess Michael figured we're spreading poop on the field, so he wants to talk about upset stomach and poop. Start filming. Oh, it's full already. What? That was fast. Let's see if that happened. an hour. It's starting to get a little breezy. We got some places like in Alberta where it gets windy like that too and much windier. When you start getting the 100 kilometer winds, uh, you actually have roads with signs warning you how windy it is because of how many big rigs roll over on those roads. Our, our, our Alberta is like your Texas. So James, I think what's happening is, Jess has bring, brought this up, what's happening is in, in vertical, there's no, you don't really give thumbs ups on a vertical live stream. What you do, instead of just giving a thumbs up, you hit the sub button. So people just go, hey, that's kind of cool, that deserves a sub. So subs are throwing out a little more on vertical. And you're talking to a completely different audience. So on horizontal, you're talking to uh, grandpas like uh, uh, Coyote there, Coyote Dream, Grandpa Coyote. And then on vertical, you're talking to uh, grade sixers. And for the record, rather talk to you, Grandpa, than a grade sixer. Sorry, Kirkland, if you're a grade six. 
<laughs> Just a different audience. With uh, all the court stuff going on on the U.S. right now, I think YouTube is really pushing Vertical. I, I think the, the, the bandwagon of getting a lot of sub, sub subscribers from Vertical is a short. It's going to be a short ride. Um, it's not going to be a long... Long term, we're going to get a lot of subscribers. It would be a short term, we're going to get additional subscribers until everybody's on that bandwagon or until YouTube changes the algorithm again. It's just a little quirk that we can take advantage of right now. It might last a few weeks, it might last a few months, we'll see. But if we can get a bunch of subscribers during that little quirk, we'll take advantage of it. Has that been 15 years since Michael Jackson disappeared? Always, always con uh, con controversies when, when somebody famous dies. I would not ride my motorcycle in winds like that. Not on purpose, anyway. James might be crazy enough to try it. cheated in.
dirt back over here. No, it's not gonna let me. I'm fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. It's a little weird the textures from that pasture, but I identify as a Walmart shopping bag. You know, I used to be an assistant manager at Walmart. I ran the last the last two over two years at Walmart. I ran the night crew. See you there, Mac. Uh, how long have you been in that chat? Uh, how's it going? Okay. I was just looking at the horizontal chat here. So, um, no, um, Mac, Mac, you're you're on the you're on the wrong stream. If you're watching on phone, feel free to stay in the vertical. But if you're not watching on phone, head on over to uh, the horizontal version. Whenever we're streaming on this channel, at least when I will be, I don't know if Jess and Jane will be doing it, but... Um, we'll be streaming two streams at once. Logan, I was talking to the chat in Vertical. Uh, or no, Logan... Uh, Michael's laughing at me working at Walmart. I don't know. Don't know what's going on. Too, too many chats. Sure, noob gets his AI art on the screen. I think I got set the timer for four minutes for now. Used to be five minutes. So I have been on the long side. Four minutes. Better. I think Jess still thinks it's too long. Basically, um, Kiram Gaming, a different YouTuber, was doing this and kind of just has been talking to him and figured it all out that we can run two streams at exactly the same time, a vertical version and a horizontal version. That way people watching on the phone have a better option. If, if you're, it depends on how you're watching on your phone. If you're watching, it depends how you hold your phone when you're watching, right? If you're holding your phone sideways when you're watching, you still want to be on the horizontal screen. But for those people that do watch while holding their phone vertically, they now have a better option. So if you're holding your phone like this to watch, you should be on the vertical screen. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's... You're definitely... Definitely seeing some good scarring there. And there's still stitches in there. Yeah, my whole eye is swollen. My whole chest hurts every time I breathe. Only hurts when I breathe, right? Is that how the song goes or something? knees are both black so it's not even a scar yet it, it still has stitches in it it's, it's brand spanking new basically I exposed a two inch by one quarter inch of my skull it's the first time I've seen my skull it is as thick as people say it is uh, 
um, I was tarping my load at work. I was between the truck and the trailer where the glad hand hoses go into the trailer. I was putting the bungees on and I tripped on those hoses and tried saving and holding onto the tarp and then basically skydived, like straight out skydived into the concrete floor. And the safety glasses pushed up into my forehead and the safety glasses are what gave me the, the bad cut. So the, the, where I was standing was only like three feet off the ground, but if you hit the ground wrong, <laughs> into solid concrete, it's still not a good day. It's definitely, definitely a hospital ride. Or a ride to the hospital and get, get some stitches. So that happened on Wednesday. So I had Friday off, Saturday. And I think the stitches should come out tomorrow. I'm gonna see how I feel tomorrow morning if I want to go back to work on Tuesday or if I need another day off or not. Yeah, I could have easily done a spinal injury. I could have easily done, I could have easily gotten a concussion. Um, at the end of the day, I really got quite lucky that I landed the way I did. It could have been much worse. So, no back injuries, no neck injuries, no no brain injuries, no no swelling, no concussion like that. Just just the bruised eye. So I'll bounce it back pretty darn quick. Appreciate that. Appreciate all the healing prayers I can get. So thank you for that. All in all, I feel great. I feel good. I had a slight headache the first two or three days. I don't even have a headache anymore, nothing, it's just, I'm good, I'm good, probably have a cool scar to talk about now. looks much worse than it really is. Like, I feel fine. Nothing to write home about. I haven't even told my parents or my sister. James, you're the only one important enough to tell. It's actually very good. It could have been much, much worse. It could have been much, much worse. I say, all good all the time. Blessings. Even even when things went wrong, I had nothing but blessings.
heard my name that I wasn't paying, I was not paying attention. My point exactly. Gave him a compliment and he didn't even hear it. Anyway, it can work. Um, I think an ant bite would be worse than this. Have you been it bit by like army ants before? I can't say army ant bite would be much. Or fire ants. Oof. Our, ba our, our ants up here don't really bite, do they? The, the ones that we have here up in Canada don't really bite. Like, you don't hear people worried about ants biting you up here. It's just not a thing. Yeah, further south, ants bite, but up here our bites are, our ants are pretty docile. Can't see where I'm driving. Professional. and then we made it too quiet and I think we're kind of at a happy medium but I can't hear it very well. Maybe Michael and James and sure you can give their input to the music the volume. Logan's been helping out. Uh, I had to completely change the way I do music on here just to have the title of the song appear on the screen. A simple little line they show up there. Yeah, not 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 easy to do actually.
Parents say you're not gonna do you're gonna do nothing today. Can you not find things to do for yourself? Like you're a grown man, start doing things for yourself. Go out to your local coffee shop and find yourself a a, a date. Go, go find yourself a date. No, you can't do anything for yourself. What's your opinion? Quiet. Yeah, the microphone's not great. We do have to do an upgrade to the microphone someday. So every time Logan says my name, do I just yell, LOGAN! <laughs> Music level's good. Logan's got it right. Yeah, some songs are quiet, some are louder, so you kind of have to meet in the middle. If Michael's going to yell, UNO! <laughs> Is that our inside joke now? I'm good. What, what are you looking at? That's our... Oh. So that's last weekend and this weekend. Yeah, that was last weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Share that with Jim. Okay. Jess, Jess is going to show you a thing. Slightly too loud, but not bad. Okay. I wanted to turn it up, so we'll just leave it as is then. <laughs> How they're just basically discovering. So. You're on Discord oh, unmuted? Yeah, I'm okay. muted. No, I have to unmute you still. Oh no, now I can hear me. You can hear, you can hear you? Yeah, but I was still listening to your chat. Or your stream. Multitask in here. So yesterday's videos. Yes. This is 37 from Canada, 81 from Germany, Germany. 14 from India, 49 from Russia, 138 from US. So US is the biggest. Yeah, Russia but and Germany are up, and a lot yeah. less Canadians. Norm on our verdict or horizontal is mostly Canadian. Uh, I don't know if this is for both or not. I Probably think it's for, if it's for both. I, I think. Yeah. I think unless I go to individual videos, yeah. it's going to be both. But I just found it interesting to see both uh, Russia and Germany in there. That's cool. And that's probably why those people aren't commenting because we're speaking the wrong language. Well, you know German, so keep going. Ich kann ein klein bisschen Deutsch. Nicht sehr gut. Ich spreche nicht sehr gut Deutsch. Ah, 
Isn't farming sim giants from Germany? Isn't that their home base? Sure, Noob, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it. Pink of health to you and your family. Ich spreche nicht gut Deutsch, aber ich verstehe es. Bitte langsam, ich bin ein Auslander. Fancy subscribers this weekend. Nine is Fancy, twenty nine. This weekend or last week? In one week, okay. <laughs> Crash counter does not go up. It's close though. Logan's back. Oh, you, you switched you switched streams again. So Logan, are you watching on your phone? So since you're watching on your phone, which one is actually easier for you to watch on? Which one do you like better? Basically, do you watch holding your phone like this or like this? I'm guessing if you're watching on the horizontal stream, you're probably watching like this with the chat disabled. 
And if you're watching like this, you're watching in, with the chat enabled. I turned the engine off. Not, it's not turning the honeyway off. And when I watch YouTube on my phone, I mostly watch horizontal in full screen with the chat turned off. Mostly what I do. Come on, let's go. today, huh? Oh, she said something about work. The work schedule has changed, so. I am getting hungry, so what's our plan, Jess? Since I've eaten everything here already, you can finish that. Yeah, for you in Texas, it's almost two. It's, it's almost it's almost noon here. Normally, this is the stream would have ended like half an hour ago on a normal day. She was up pretty late. Who is she? this field we're actually getting spread. I didn't think we would have this much slurry available.
1 10 a.m. when Kiraman was streamed. So that would have been 11 30 p.m. here. No, 10 30 p.m. here. No, no, 1 or 11 30 p.m. here, yes. And then, thanks to Kiram, I stayed up for another hour and a half after that, trying to get this all set up. I've moved the webcam. So now, now I've got my main monitor in front of me. I've got the webcam straight in front of me. The webcam, that way I'm looking more toward the webcam. I'm probably always looking a little below the webcam. So it always looks like I'm looking below you guys, like I can't make eye contact. And then I have your chat right over here, horizontal. Vertical chat is here. I've got um, YouTube over here on that monitor. Uh, Discord down there. Up there, I've got OBS, uh, Touch Portal, and uh, my whatever it's called for you know doing stuff like that and muting myself. and soundboard. There we go. Death counter and soundboard. Don't use it as a death counter, I use it as a crash counter. And then on my table I've got the actual touch board. So essentially I've got four monitors and uh, one tablet. It, it's it's kind of ballooned out of control over time. Having said that, the uh, the tablet is an old, old Apple tablet. Like, wait, it's it's old. Um, one of the monitors is super old. The other monitor I bought used. Um, so only two monitors have been specially bought for streaming. Just slowly upgraded over over time. You could live stream on one monitor, but I've never done that. I've always had two monitors. And Jess has got two monitors as well, and she says she doesn't want any more. I've kind of gone out of control here on my side. For steering wheel pedals and a joystick. And also old oil joystick. You don't need new stuff for everything. I'm using an old Microsoft Force Feedback joystick that I bought like in the 90s. If I did a lot of logging, I would definitely get a new joystick. And maybe we'll still get a new joystick. But all that stuff costs money. I'm trying to prove we can do this on a budget. Quite a small budget. My table's messy, but you guys want to see a picture of what it looks like? Let's see. Come on, I can't zoom out far enough. You guys don't need to see my vacation. One second. One second. I forgot to even turn that light on. I just noticed that on the picture. I'm like, I don't even have all the lights on. Okay. 
see if we can get zoomed out far enough over here. There we go. Okay, I got that photo now. I'm just going to email it to myself. What's that? Or I could just do on Discord. Um, well, okay, yeah, there's a... I, I know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. Okay. One second. One second. There we go. Um, on the vertical stream, it's a little hard to see all of this, but there's there's my webcam sitting right there. I've got circle light up there and circle light up there. Just two small, very bright LED lights facing it. Mostly, I use this one up here. main monitor, steering wheel, that's my touch portal that I use to switch, you know, hide and mute myself and I put the, the uh, you know, these, these up. From, from that touch portal on the floor there and then I've got a horizontal chat here, vertical chat there. Over here is, um, that is Discord. Over here is YouTube. Up here is OBS. You can't really see the vertical part of OBS. It's on the side here, that's the vertical stream and it's the horizontal stream. Up here I've got this up here matches this down here. Basically this is the desktop version where I make all the edits to it. And this here is our death counter and soundboard. And then the old force feedback Microsoft joysticks. So different sizes of monitors mixed together in the best pattern that works. Works the best. But uh, yeah, that's what I've got. And then my messy drawers and stuff. Some crackers laying over there. You see this up here? SCR. Oh, in that bottom corner because I put my glove. This is a piece of a wing spar. If you guys go to the YouTube channel, Mike Patey, this is a part of a wing spar of airplane he built. I'm a pretty big fan of that one there. Okay, let's get back to gaming. Um, like I should share the Mike Beatty website or YouTube, whatever. That's uh, Mike Beatty. Let's see if we find the video of. It's been a while. It's been a good long while since he built Scrappy. Uh, let's see if we can find one where he's doing the wing spars. I don't know if I can see that in here. This is back to 
too far back. Too far back. Where where's our wing spar? I have I have basically I have a part of that wing spar. That could be that one. Go away at. I bent the wing yes, spar. Yes, that. <laughs> I I have a piece of exactly that wing spar. You're just by googling wings bar for me, Pacey. Oh, see, there he even talks about giving this is them the away. Scrappy's bar, traditional cut bar, traditional cut rear bar, and then Scrappy's rear bar is going to be. And we're seeing a lot on his house right now. I'm super pumped about it. So, I, I have one of those, which is cool. I, I kind of like it. It's a cool little piece of his airplane. But um, yeah, check out his channel. Mike Patey, how do I chair? Is there, is there not a chair button? I'll just, I'll just copy the link. I'll just copy the link. Okay, let's get back to farming. Um, figure food out yet? Yeah? Okay. I'm just good with whatever you decide. What's what's the decision? Whichever one you prefer. I'd be cool with tacos. Yeah, burrito. Mm -hmm. I'd be cool with a nice. Nice uh, beef and bean burrito. Yeah. And then I'll do laundry after food. And do our budget. Be ready to go for tomorrow just in case I'm feeling good enough to do so. Well, maybe tomorrow evening. ready as if we're going to leave tomorrow at like 3 or 4 p.m. I, I mean, we're probably not going to be ready to go until Tuesday morning, but just in case all of a sudden my eyes not swollen tomorrow morning. What's that? It could take up to two weeks for my eye not to be swollen. Yeah. I, I'm not accepting that. <laughs> not acceptable. I'm going to command it to be fixed by tomorrow. <laughs> it doesn't work that way? Oh. state and your truck okay you found something to do your parents parents were gonna be boring so you found something to do on a Sunday you're gonna I guess Texas maybe is open on Sundays I thought Texas was too conservative to do for the state to be open on Sundays I 
guess maybe you're not talking about it like a state office or something. Maybe he's going to go to a state park. And do burnouts. Do off-roading. Get stuck off-roading and you have to call Matt's off-road recovery. Yeah, I doubt they would go to Texas unless it was a really big job. Anyway, thanks for joining, Michael. Appreciate it. Hey, how are our cows? Like, how much... Where you have left? Oh, not much. 2,900. So really one more load. One more load after this. You can register. Oh, registration offices might be open on Sundays. Ours are. You don't get private insurance? You guys have like state insurance for that? I thought that was... Hmm. I know we have, we have provincial insurance we have to get to register our vehicles yearly, and then also, we, I mean we can do it all provincial, we can do, do it all through the government, but I do the very basics through the government, and then I do private insurance outside of that. James is streaming tonight, or if I am streaming tonight, but one of us are going to stream tonight. James is pretty busy, so... Maybe he heard his name and he'll tell us. And, and if he's streaming tonight, what game are we playing? says question mark. Yes, I don't know the answer either, but what, somebody will be live on here tonight. Hopefully we're all alive. Got almost the whole field in, because I think there's only a little bit left now, right? 695? Yeah, it might be worth a trip. It's only gonna be like half a load, not even half a load. Save us a lot of money on fertilizer. Well, I guess since Michael's leaving, we'll throw you up one more time. 
appreciate all your support and all your comments. It looks like everybody's leaving us, chat's slowing down. I've bored everybody or everybody's going out and getting lunch and doing things, right? James will be streaming tomorrow morning, not tonight. Got it. I will be around tomorrow morning. What are you streaming tomorrow? ETS? It's my guess. ETS is my guess. doing a live stream today. He's setting up for that right now, so probably in about 40 minutes, Kiram will be live. We'll probably hang it in there for a little bit and chat while we're doing other things. Like laundry and, you know, the real life stuff. Still gotta upload some videos. To the YouTubes. <laughs> I'm sleep with the Trucker channel. Yeah, somehow I screwed that up. Okay. That's okay. That's why I'll slow it and I'm fine with that. <laughs> Woo, that was close. Didn't want anybody to call me out on the crash counter. There we go. Just one little strip left that didn't get a layer of manure. That's pretty awesome. Drop this off, grab a fertilizer, run some more fertilizer over the whole field. spread lime as well. I want to grab a tractor with a heavier front end. So either the Ford or the uh, International Harvester. I don't know if the Ford can actually pick it up. I'll be able to pick the fertilizer up, but I don't know if it can do the uh, lime. Lime is a pretty heavy bucket.
gotta say this. It's like it's 1500 in game already. It's been like a good, good day. We, we've had a busy day. Don't really want to make the farm much bigger until we have better equipment because some of these days it's going to be hard to get the jobs all done. Or more people join in multiplayer. Kiram has returned. You're all set up and ready to do your stream? We're just waiting for food and then we'll end this stream, so... Kiram will be up in just over half an hour. So glad you started doing live streams with the vertical because I don't know if I would have ever gone and done that without you doing it. And that was just the right call to make. Just a no brainer, right call to make. Logan! Logan, you're you're funny. Logan just just has to scream out my name every now and then. I guess it's not cap, so no, you're not actually screaming. But it feels like it should be. It feels like it should be all, all in caps. Interesting. So little like we're here we are at our goal, so we're not even spreading fertilizer in a lot of a lot of these places. Um this is Catro on our CMP. Yeah. And that's it's mandatory roadside alcohol screenings at all lawful stops starting April first. So if they if if they make a legal stop for, for if they have to stop you for whatever reason you mandatorily, mandatorily have to do an alcohol test. Yep. So, I don't know if I like that. If, if, if they suspect you of being under the influence, yes, go do a test, but everybody just mandatory, you just, everybody has to do a test? What about all the false negatives? Like, so what's the test? You're pulled over for traffic violations like speeding, careless driving, brake lights not working, etc. Yeah. Then you, that's when you're required to complete it. What's the test though? Is it a roadside test or a breathalyzer? Because if you have to do the walking test and that, how well is that officer trained? Because I have seen people go into jail that didn't belong in jail for. I'm assuming it's just a breathalyzer because this is mandatory uh, approved device okay. that takes an average of 90 seconds. Okay, so you have to actually blow into a breathalyzer. That, that's, that's better than having to do some roadside test of walking and stuff and it's up to the cop to decide if you passed or not. They can drop you to minus 20 demerit points if you fail to do it. Let's suspend your license, all that stuff. Like, I don't know. Do they have breathalyzers for cannabis? 
how you prove you're under the influence of cannabis. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, is it even worth fertilizing this? As little as I'm applying? Maybe I'll apply more up upper part of the field, but down here it looks pretty yellow. So the, on the map it looks a little redder further up, so maybe... Maybe it's worth it. I believe you're right. Canadian-wide, it's legal to consume cannabis products. Um, you're still not legally allowed to transport any across the border, so... What's that? Oh, no, no, you, you can't have any cannabis in you when you're driving, no. You, you, you can't... You can't drive under the influence, under alcohol or any other influence. How's it going, moo cows? Other than, you know... The alternative would be oink cows? I don't know. These are moo cows, not oink cows. What? Oh. Uh, here, make sure I don't um, crash at the end of the field. I'm muted. Oh, I'm muted. Sorry. Um, okay, so uh, Logan, you need to get some help because bed cheats, being the cutest animal. I don't know what kind of bed cheats you have, but um, and thanks for the mic off. Heads up. Appreciate that. You need to find some professional help with those bed cheats. 
if they're the cutest animals, you 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 need you need some some help there. So Kiram stream will start in less than half an hour. We're gonna park this here. Shut that down. Hit pause. Let's find Kiram's link here. He's gonna go to channel. And uh Control copy. Jess and I will show up in Kiram's chat on and off. We got busy doing other stuff, but we'll be watching Kiram's stream in about 25 minutes or so. So head on over there. Looks like we are going to be playing on PV Canyon Crossing. Just horizontal or horizontal and vertical? No, 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 I see both. Horizontal and vertical, perfect. Uh, what are we doing on the, on the farm? Looks like some rock work. Moving, moving some heavy equipment, moving rocks. Gravel. In, in, in the description, let's take a look here. Fills, lawn care, terraforming, managing products, and course play, loader work. Nice. So, Jess and I will be heading over there. For now, we are out of here. Thank you guys so much for all your support, all the thumbs ups and likes, and all of the comments, and, and uh, anyone that's gone to the coffee app and given us a tea to drink and uh, anyone that's uh, given to our charity run over here appreciate all your help you guys absolutely rock no adios from Jess so we're out this video is brought to you in part by the letter C and these YouTube members cookie starts with C what other things start with C Oh, who cares what other things? C is for cookie, and that's good enough for me. Thanks for watching. Um, nom, 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 nom.